the real deal. What's up guys, it's Jake from The Real Deal Airsoft, and today we're going to be talking about my Daytona AK. I get a lot of questions and concerns asking me, is that a Polar Star? Is that an AEG? Is that a gas blowback? Well, the answer is it's neither. It's almost a combination of all of the above. The Daytona AK completely replaces whatever previous system you had. If you had an AEG with a gearbox, this kit would require you to remove your gearbox and drop in the Daytona kit. Same thing if you had a gas blowback. You would remove all of your internals and drop in the kit inside. The Daytona AK is a 100% pneumatic system. Now this kit is very robust. It's made of steel and brass. Once you break it in and install it correctly, it's a tank. You just have to maintain it and apply lubricant, perform daily checks and perform all of your screws are aligned and didn't back out. Let's take a look under the hood. As you can see, there's no gearbox. The reason why I chose it is because I'm a fan of realism and recoil. This kit is pretty much the strongest recoil kit on the airsoft market that you can have. It's 100% pneumatic, as you can see the bolt carrier group, and the takedown is very similar to a real AK. With this kit, I'm able to get very consistent FPS in comparison to my Tipman platform. This system is controlled from an SFR regulator, so that means I'm able to dial my PSI up and down very precisely, controlling my FPS. The regulator is external. In my kit, I'm running a 6.01 Type or Steel 363 inner barrel. On this AK-105 platform, it's equivalent to an M4 with a 13-inch barrel, so it's quite compact and perfect for CQB. Given the short barrel, I'm still able to range out to over 200 foot shots, being that I do use heavy BBs. For this system, since you have a bolt slamming back and forth, and a steel feeding nozzle, it's important to use heavy BBs, because it can damage some BBs and break them. I had an issue with um, .25 tracers, they would break often in here. I switched to BLS .28s, and boy is this thing shoot lasers. That's the one thing that I love about this gun is that once you have it built, it's good to go. Once you build it right, there's almost no maintenance. The only maintenance that you would have to perform would be lubricating your bolt assembly, lubricating the O-rings inside here, and there's another O-ring that I'll show you right now. Let's take the kit apart. The easiest way to do this is to push your airline up. When this airline comes up, you have to rotate the bolt tank. This will allow you to push this forward, and it will free up this whole assembly. By lifting up and then rotating, that is the easiest way to take this kit out. Take a look inside. This is your hop-up feed ramp. This is your top dead center hop-up adjustment using the Daytona bucking. I'm using this standard bucking and I'm getting extremely great results. Be patient and break it in. Once this kit is installed, they recommend between five to 10,000 rounds fired to break in the bucking and also the metal on metal contact. Check out the trigger group. Inside here is crucial O-rings. These O-rings you have to clean and keep lubricated. It's recommended to use Get Some 1000. That is the number one recommended lubricants used in this system. There may be others, but just use what works. With a rotation and a turn, you take the whole kit apart. The reason why I enjoy this kit in comparison to a gearbox is because there's not that many parts. The parts are big and robust. 
You're not going to lose a little spring and get worried that your anti-reversal latch is missing because your gearbox exploded when you opened it. This kit, we don't run into those problems. It's very simple. And I want you guys to take a deeper look into my Daytona AK. Let's put the gun back together. First, your bolt assembly. Here is where you would be applying lubricant all over this bolt, everywhere. Work it in. Push it up. So I hope that answers your questions for what gun does the real deal airsoft use? Now you know it's a Daytona AK. The real deal.